the distributive law describes how multiplication distributes over addition and subtraction. I want to start by showing you how it works using numbers first, so you can get your head around what's happening and why it works. Have a look at this example. 3 times 1 plus 4. That's 3 lots of 1 plus 4. Well, 1 plus 4 makes 5 in each row, so I have 3 times 5, which is 15. But I can also look at the same question a different way. I have 3 lots of 1 and 3 lots of 4. 3 times 1 plus 3 times 4. 3 plus 12 is 15. See, I got the same answer, but I worked it out two different ways. What we're going to do is apply this idea to algebraic variables as well as numbers. Because sometimes I want a product, but other times I want a sum of terms instead. So I want to be able to convert back and forth between the two forms. Suppose instead of 4, I have A. I don't know how much A is worth, it's just A. So I can't actually add 1 to A yet. I can't evaluate 1 plus A without a value for A. But that's OK. I can still expand it using the distributive law. Because I have 3 lots of 1 plus 3 lots of A. But 3 times 1 is just 3, and 3 times A we normally write as just 3A. See how that worked? I applied the 3 at the front of the brackets to each of the terms inside the brackets, and I turned my product into a sum. Let's try that again. 4 brackets B plus 6. Remember there's a multiplication in there between the 4 and the bracket. 4 times b plus 6. Now I don't know how big b is. I don't have a value for it. But I can still expand it using the distributive law. I have 4 lots of b plus 4 lots of 6. 4b plus 24. See how easy that was? I turned my product, 4 times the brackets, into a sum. 4b plus 24. When we start adding more variables, drawing the diagrams becomes a bit more difficult. So from now on, we're going to do it just using the algebraic process. To expand a product using the distributive law, rewrite the expression without the brackets by distributing the multiplication over the addition or subtraction. 2 brackets c plus 3. Remember there's a hidden times in there. Distribute the 2 over the terms in brackets. 2 times c plus 2 times 3, which we can write as 2c plus 6. When you get better at this, you are allowed to skip the second line here. You don't have to write the extra step. But I'm going to keep doing it for now, so you can see clearly exactly what I'm doing. And you are allowed to keep writing it every time if it helps you to get the right answer. 8 brackets 2 minus p. Distribute the 8 over what's inside the brackets. 8 times 2 minus 8 times p. The minus sign just gets copied down from inside the brackets. 8 times 2 is 16, so it's 16 minus 8p. Let's try it with some negative numbers. Nothing will change, it's done exactly the same way. We just have to be careful to get the signs right. Negative 4 times brackets a plus 2. Distribute the times over the brackets. Negative 4 times a plus negative 4 times 2. That's negative 4a plus negative 8. Negative g times brackets 3 minus f. Watch those minus signs. Distribute it over the brackets. Negative g times 3 
minus negative g times f. Can you see where each of those negative and minus signs went? Be very careful now. Don't lose any of those signs. It's negative 3g minus negative fg. I've just written the same thing again without the time signs and put the g and the f in the second term into alphabetic order. Now this answer is correct, but it's not quite as simple as it could be written. I don't know about you, but I don't really like subtracting a negative. I'd rather add a positive instead. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So I can write it as negative 3g plus fg. Now from here we just need some more practice. Let me show you a couple more examples of what can happen. q times brackets 4q plus y squared. Exactly as before, distribute the times over the sum in brackets. q times 4q plus q times y squared. Now simplify the first term using power notation. 4q squared plus qy squared. Remember qy squared means q times y squared, not qy all squared. That's order of operations again. Exponents happen first before the multiplication. What if the brackets are on the left instead? n plus 2v in brackets times 6v. Well, it's still a product, so I can still distribute the factor on the right over the addition in brackets on the left. n times 6v plus 2v times 6v. See, it's exactly the same. Each term in the brackets has been multiplied by the factor that was outside the brackets. So now, just simplify these terms. 6nv in alphabetic order, plus 12, 2 times 6, v squared. Easy, 